We're live. All right. No fucking way we're live. I don't believe you. All right. So Jungle Beats in the house. We're doing... Who are Jungle Beats? Jungle Beats Wait, is not ja Lil Beats. Holla at me. Do you, you know people ask us, like, do you, are you got the guys that make beats? No. We're the guys that review music, react to music, and occasionally talk about some of the best television shows on the universe. Bro, I just tell people... That we are now because I think it's hilarious. They're like, sometimes I like when people will message me, I'll just own up to it for like a few sentences. But then I realized like I'm breaking their hearts. So I've got to tell them the bad news. But for the moment I break their hearts, it's a fun time. Cool Maybe story. I just like breaking hearts. That's a cool story. You should tell me more. Call me the heartbreaker. About being a heartbreaker? Dude, we're here to talk about Rick and Morty. I don't want to talk about that. We're here to talk about episode 10, the last episode of the season. Are we the latest review channel to ever talk about this episode? I think we are. <laughs> <laughs> Is this where we get so but little views? It, it feels like, it does feel like, but I was like sick pretty much for an entire week. So that really didn't help. Yeah. Bill Gates got you. Yeah, it got me good, man. Bill Gates got you with- Fucking Jeff Bezos in my blood. Yeah, man. Um, he activated the chip to give you adverse events. Bro, the 5G is strong in my blood. <laughs> He's so strong, you got 10G. <laughs> oh, motherfucking 10G in this bitch. All right, so I think we should talk about Rick and Morty now. Episode 10, this is... <laughs> wow, what a goddamn episode. I had to watch it twice. I had to watch people explain it to me. I needed, like, a thesis explained to me. Jesus. Bro, I can explain it to you. Well, I don't think I was, I wasn't confused at all this episode. Well, you must be a sense. genius or I must be a, 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 an idiot. No, 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 no. I just interpreted the way that I, I thought fitting. So I don't actually know, but I guess we'll talk about it. Well, should we, we should just start off episode by episode or you want to start off with a little summary, like screen by screen? Oh, no, I, I, I think that by doing what we normally do and displaying and speaking upon what we're envisioning is a fine idea. All right. Oh, then. that intro. I remember the intro, even though it doesn't, you know, the one where I, I would grab your book, that big book, and I'd open it to a random page and I'd read like a random chapter out of the book from it. Mm. And then I just like shut it. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You say something. And then you just, it just cuts to you on the camera and you're just like fucking incredible or like something super sarcastic. And then it just, the review just starts. It's so good, bro. That's gold. Yes. So if you guys, uh, okay. we, we, we've made some <laughs> iconic intros in the past for those who don't know. Um, you, oh. you just watch the start of our videos and that's all you need to see. No, straight up. Just watch the first two minutes of all our videos and that's all we need to know for humor wise. Now, let's talking at the at the beginning of this, this episode, we start off, you're an anime guy, you know, so you, you could probably talk I a am. bit about this um, and, and, and the references here, what we're seeing with Rick's backstory beginning with the two crows two crows which great i'm all for it so they've continued on from the last episode rick's off going on missions on adventures on quests mm -hmm. right with his new partners and crown oh we got a comment and though poor hold ours. on i want to I just address a comment we um <laughs> One of my favorite, our favorite subscribers and followers, Alexander Mann. He says hi with a smiley face. I just want to say, baby. Who the fuck is that? That's one of my favorites. <laughs> What's up, man? I might pay I myself. Know, man. Hang on. There's a thing called Super Chat where you can pay um, you, you, to get your comment highlighted. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, $2.99. I just want to shout out to uh, myself. Um, here we go. $2.99. Super chat. You're actually doing it. Super chat. Here we go. Boom. I just want to... All right. <laughs> I just want to make sure my message is heard. Oh. Oh. Wait, what, what's the message though? Big time. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> so guys... You just spent $3. I just spent okay. $3. Oh, hey. But the funny thing is, that's going to come back to us, except YouTube's going to take like, like 40%. So I just what? Bastards. You just wasted a dollar, a dollar forty. That's not forty percent, but okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. So if you guys want to help us fund our lives, you can also do super chats. Maybe I'll do a bigger one. You can do up to, wow, you can do up to eight hundred dollars. Bro, that's just that's just a no bueno. We're not on that level. That's we're on like a dollar level. Wow. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I wouldn't even. 
I wouldn't even pay me. I was giving YouTube money at that point. Yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this Rick and Morty review. <laughs> so anyway, there's these cute fucking owls wearing these awesome little like vests sort of, I don't know what they're called, but you know what? I give these owls an 8 out of 10 for fashionability and probably a 9 out of 10 for showing emotion. Until they explode. Yeah, this is a great death scene. Like, I like how the other owl's like, why? Because clearly these people are good and Rick's doing evil shit. But Rick doesn't realize it because he's so caught up with being a better person. Well, yeah, he's on the, He's trying to, right? And then, then Morty comes out of nowhere because Morty is a clingy young man who just can't get over his... his uh, yeah, because it defines him. Yeah, I guess it does. And also, he's just a really cool grandfather. He does a lot of fucked up shit, but he's a really interesting and fun person. Hence why Beth also feels abandoned all the time and why Summer always wants to be on adventures. Like, people just want to be part of his life. He's an interesting dude. And so he obviously tries to get him... Uh, Rick's very standoffish. Um, yeah, very stoic. Stoic, yes. And then we get this uh, little intro scene. Which is incredible. It's just like an anime show, which is so great. <laughs> and he's looking for this villain that he's made up uh, called Kroske. And yep. uh, again, just the classic... The Pussifer. Anime style. I don't know. Do you watch anime shows? I think you do. Yeah, I watch I watch a lot of anime. Right. So you'd be very familiar with... Uh, I'm not a weeb. I don't even... What a dabble. I don't know what that is. And then old man Morty comes in. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like looking at it. It's just... <laughs> he needs to be a kid forever. This looks too weird to me. It's too real. But it just goes, shows you the lengths that Morty is, is, is so at a loss. Uh, he's willing to lie and manipulate Rick. Mm -hmm. Just like Rick used to do to him. Exactly. I do you love how there's just a decapitated orc in the background? Oh, yeah. Just on the ground. Nice. Didn't even notice. So Just, you know, surrounded by death. Morty thinks that, that, that by maybe making Rick feel a, a bit guilty, that time, so much time has passed, you know? Hmm. And I like this foreshadowing. He calls him a poser. It's like we don't know that yeah. Morty's not actually 40 until later, but... Yeah. And here, she, and here he is just telling all these lies just to get him back, which, we, of course, we don't know yet still. Not yet. And this is when Rick realizes the harsh, harsh truth. Mm -hmm. The crows were with the enemy the whole time. They weren't just with him. They were with him. They were with him. And Morty would never do anything like that. <laughs> Three toothbrushes. What's up, Jim and Nick? Wait, are you actually two people using the same account? I need to know. Or are you just like, you know, there's two different variants of you. Like one's like a... What's the word? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. So... After this... So Rick just kind of, it's like he's done. Like w once he felt betrayed. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just like, done. yeah, look at him. Boom, burns it. Sends the horse off. You know, because you're in cowboy movies when like they're just like, be free. But, like obviously this is an evil fucking <laughs> machine. So it just kills shit. And Rick even acknowledges that. He's like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. Wubba lubba dub dub, I'm back. Oh, which actually means like he's in pain, right? Mm hmm. Is that what that means? It's supposed to mean? Yeah, it means help help me, I'm in pain or something. Right. Which is very relevant considering the heartache he just went through. Mm hmm. But just, you know, some people find it hard to express emotion, so that's just the way he expresses it. Right. Yeah, and then Rick's just like, wait, you lied to me? I love the tribal tattoo, it's so fitting. I don't know how much time has actually passed, though. I don't think we actually get an understanding of that. No. Probably maybe a year or maybe a few months. Like, even a few days. Like, because I'm sure time to Rick, like, you know, he time travels a lot. So. And this is when their episode, okay, really starts to take a change. Not With becoming a Citadel episode. So we're back here once again.
Hey, what's up? What's up, Swami? What's up, Cody? What's good, my man? What's poppin'? What's crack a lacking? That's what's up. I think the whole season happened within Rick's mind. He's still getting his mind read by the Citadel. Whoa. That's a cool theory. Whoa. If they went with that, if they went with that for the next season, like as cool as it is, it would kind of be like, you know, what was the point of doing all of that then? But I guess, because not everything was Rick focused, but still really cool theory. Oh, and by the way, the title of the episode, Samurai Jack. Mm -hmm. is, sorry, it's a reference to Samurai Jack, an adult swim show that apparently is not bad. Really good show. Oh, you seen I've it? I've watched it all. Yeah, it's great. Well, there you go. Oh, look at that chat revenue. Three dollars. Man. <laughs> Thank you, myself. Man, imagine being a Rick and Morty stuck selling fruit. Like, look at Rick. He clearly isn't enjoying it, but Morty's loving it because it's Morty. <laughs> ah, classic. <laughs> little things like that rebuild a more and i really like oh, this yeah, concept like, right it's great it's like build a bear yeah it's just like exactly that's what it is just build a bear and it's like this won't hurt or will it no and it actually hurts a lot because <laughs> you just like... so he's about to get split in half right now yep Let me just get... Got a standard Morty that's been aged to 40. <laughs> Let me just get the other screenshot. While wow, we enjoy that. <sighs> ah, yes. Yeah, oh my God. Just that. Love going through these thumbnails oh. to see the little details. And he felt all of it. <laughs> But it's so weird because like a, a part of Morty is like gone and then there that's where he comes out. Well, he looks great. That's that's how I imagine Morty would look like when he gets older. It, it's like a Ben 10 thing when Ben 10 gets older. Ben 10. Who's Ben 10 again? Ben 10. Bro. Ben 10's amazing. Ah, oh, yeah. So all the kids like Ben. So you see Ben 10 grow up a little bit. So this is how it reminds me of. Uh, so here we get like, we get the conspiracy Morty. It's like reminds me of Futurama. <laughs> Because the underground uh, mutant Mutants. people. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Uh, little, like, young teenage, like, Morty's looks pretty good. You just see the whole spectrum he of Morty's here. Yeah. It sucks he had to die. Speaking of, there's another one. Uh, this is a nice little call. Like, a cop shoots somebody in broad daylight, you know, for essentially, you know... Uh, it's a bit of a call, like, you're about to get suspended with pay. It's, like, a call to, like, what a lot of police officers in America have, um, that's what their consequence was for, for committing manslaughter or, or even, you know, mm -hmm. maybe murder. Uh, that's probably not called that, but I just think it's a little call to what's happening through society over the last few years with police officers and people being critical of them not being actually feeling the consequences to their wrong wrongdoings. Amen. Was I influential? You were alive for like 10 seconds, bro. And, but here's the thing. Influential nowadays for a lot of teenagers is like, you had a blog. You were on TikTok. Yeah. It's very true. It's like you had like seven blogs. It's like Pink Morty. Looks like a penis. <laughs> That's what you think a penis looks like color-wise? I, I guess so. Like the pink hue of a... Bro non foreskin penis. The, uh, do you find that the color of your penis is a lot darker than the rest of you? It's my true color. Because <laughs> my dick is definitely darker than the rest of me. It's your true color. It's a good color. It's a good dick. I got a good Because that's not wasn't Anyways. from the sun, right? Your dick ain't getting uh, uh, changed in pigment from sun exposure. So it's your true color. I see your two colors starting to... This is a pretty good finale. Felt like it was going a little too fast at points to me. But what was revealed and how it could change later seasons really makes up for it. Yeah, I agree completely. Um, Because the parts where it does go too fast, I had to fucking put it in 0.25 speed to catch everything for it to make sense and be good to me as well. So yeah, summarize exactly how I felt about it. So here's a little uh, what we call Evil Morty. Coming Evil. 
don't know what this symbol represents, if anybody knows. Can't remember. Don't know. It's maybe the... The, the citadel the president symbol the citadel yeah maybe it's the citadel one <laughs> i'm awful at this this morty character he's great which one he's the more he's evil morty bro but he's not even evil and i like how they when they talk about this later on about why yeah like, he talks about it yeah uh, we'll talk about that later like that's definitely uh, i agree with that um mm -hmm. So he's, he brings up some things that we have no idea at this point, like Central Finite. What, how am I bring down the Central Finite? Like, we don't know what this is yet. Mm -hmm. um, but Rick does, and he kind of panics and gets nervous. All right, time to go, Morty. Um, yep, because Morty knows what he's talking about. I mean, Rick knows what he's talking about. And so here it begins to unravel. Mm -hmm. Here is Rick, I think, building his first portal gun. Building something. Could even be building a clone of Beth, maybe. And this little, like, it looks like Stan Lee, doesn't it? Yeah, that does. That does. Yeah, it is. I didn't, I didn't realize that. That's so cool. So apparently in comics, in comic books, like, you'll see the little little pop-ups like this. Because it's, a, it's yeah. a callback. I don't know. Did you watch episode nine, season one again? Episode nine, season one. Yeah, oh, check out morning. season one, episode nine, Rickheads. This is a reference. Oh... I can't remember it. So I don't know if I'm a rickhead. It's a it's a callback to Evil Morty has been scanning Rick's brain since hmm. the Evil Rick episode, and he had manipulated Evil Rick into creating the device to scan Rick, so Evil Morty can get the plans to the Citadel. That happened then. Also, I, I never watched Generator X, but if it's as good as Ben 10, I probably should watch it. So that's the Citadel. That's his plans for the Citadel that we can see in, in the scanning of the brain. While holding on to the thing which... The scan thing. I like this. The apology in a screwdriver in my hand would be worth a screwdriver. That's like such a clever way to say your apology is worth nothing. Yep, yep, straight up. Really cool line. And this is this comment. Like, when you first listen to this episode, you don't think much of it. You can't help it. You were bred for it. Then you rewatch the episode, yeah. you pick up those things. Yeah, you've, you've seen Morty, like, fucking do it all. So here's what we know. We know Morty's. Oh yeah, we're going to be covering a lot in the next uh, the next five ten minutes. Yeah, we will. Um, Citadel became its own Morty market. The Citadel, yep. And so what they did is they Rick's manipulated the multiverse so Beth's would meet Jerry's. Beth ended up with Jerry, so they'd have more Mortys. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Which is really, which is really fucked up. But obviously, Rick did that at a time where he wasn't the person he is now. But still, a really fucked up thing to do. Like, imagine. Oh, I don't know how that would apply to our day to day, but imagine like we were created, like all humans were created by some other thing. I don't know. And I'd be like, why? Why the fuck would you create more of me? <laughs> and then they implant memories. I believe this is what this is. Memories or... Of... To a certain Rick? Yeah. And they put it into that world. And then, boom. They have a Rick. Because every Rick needs a Morty. And he... You have two crows. Here's an example of all the different universes within the central finite curve. Mm-hmm. Yep. And he's attached to us infinitely through his weakness and our forgiveness... Through his weakness, Morty. Oh no, no, Morty's weakness and Rick's. Rick's. Fuck, I'm mixing it up. It's a right, bro. Oh, look at all the dead Mortys, bro. Holy shit. It's just so real. It like, reminds me of the and Matrix. Just, and they just chucked so, like, haphazardly as well. Like, they're just worth nothing because there's just so many of them. And now Morty's just like, fuck. 
well, I never knew this. And so, this is like the first. What do you think? And does this, this make sense to you? The first time you watched it. Um, I've only watched it once, so yes. Oh, cool. Which which bit? This bit right here. Yeah, just like the first little bombshell of like how the Mortys came to be. Yeah, it made sense to me. Cool. It seemed like something Rick would do, or a lot of variants of Rick would do. Rick's the the OG Rick is is smart enough to realize that his serum's been tampered with. Yep, and just like. It's like, nope. And then this... This thing. Amazing. Time for big boy. <laughs> it basically just takes all the hits for Rick. It's really cool. It's a really cool idea. It, it takes his it's pain. Like, and it transports it into yeah, pleasure. It takes all his pain. Yep. Or into like damage, like it's like a counter. He can counter back what he gets hit with. <laughs> the quality of dialogue stops mattering. Tonight, I do that thing I want to do with the curve thing. <laughs> I think that's a little call to like the writers saying our dialogue actually doesn't matter because this yes. episode. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really smart line. It's just like, well, let me just say fucking something without really much context to give you to go off. Because fuck it. Oh, look. I never noticed this. It's a mask what, Morty. Surgical Morty? Yeah, yeah. maybe that's a call. call. But, it, but his nose isn't covered. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a call to society now? Yes. Maybe. And I like what happens here. Like, There's a lot of moments here where a lot of Mortys die. Rick's die. That that reminds me of like Super Mario. Yeah, I felt the same way. This one here. I don't, I, just... Watch this. Whoa. Oh no. Is this just impaling? Oh, it impales him. But in the next slide, it's like it's an olive on the end. There's an olive, oh. like <laughs> an alcoholic drink. A martini. Yeah. Eat shit. Fuck you. <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> the drug companies pay for me to say every word uh, which is like yeah it's like again another call to what's happening maybe in society now with um, a lot of mm. these anchor men being corrupt or me media personnel being corrupt salt selling out via pharmaceutical companies hmm shit's going down uh, I feel like an unappreciated thing about Rick and Morty is the fun ways they play with gore and how it plays it up for humor. Yeah, agreed. They do gore really cool. So we learn... Uh, what is it? All, like, the, gr the green portal fluid was actually powered or made partly by Rick's and Morty's? And now this is where this is where we find all this stuff. So this is where we're going to have to slow it down. This is Rick's history. All right, talk us through presumably. it. Presumably. Talk us through it. So here we have the original or like the Rick that we've been following this whole time, presumably. Yeah, C-137. And yep. So, and this is another Rick who's clearly an eviler Rick. And he wants this Rick to do something for him. And it looks like Rick doesn't want to do it for him. And there's consequences. So they kill his wife, who we've never seen before. It's the first time we see Rick's wife and Beth. No, who this presumably... is the second time because we saw it when he was trapped in this maze thing with these robotic insects. Um, and he had to pretend that this wasn't a real memory. Do you remember that? I actually don't. Okay. But yeah. But yeah, and here you see them both die. I mean, which, well, like, you don't see them die, but you presume they do. So it makes me think that Beth, the original Beth, actually died and he rebuilt her. Right. And look at him. He's just he's shattered. So, and then we see. This is when he depressed. builds the portal gun. Exactly, like I think, and I think the Ricks realized that they had to, they had to kill them for him to do this. Like it took like a huge amount of like depression and pain for him to get to this stage, and then he just basically just starts finding ways to, you know, 
fill that void again. Well, he's looking for him. I think he's looking for this this Rick that killed his family. Yeah, yeah, he's looking for that Rick. He wants revenge. Then he gets a photo and travels. This is what you do, right? This is the classic movie trope. Someone kills your dog and your family. And you see uh, Bird Person's now part of the picture. So we're going through his life. So Bird Person's like his closest friend. So he helps him do a lot of stuff. Which is nice to see. And then, mm -hmm. yeah. And here you see him helping. There's some stuff there. He's trying to triangulate a location to other Ricks who might know where he is or even just find him. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, look, he's not afraid to do fucking whatever it takes. So where did he's all these Ricks so come from? Because this was before the Citadel. Um, I guess they're just all other different Ricks in different different times of timelines. And this, uh, this, closer, this nice callback, like here, mm -hmm. it turned into the drinking wreck. Like he's so this. fed up. Yep. He just can't, like he's just so caught up in revenge. It's just like, that's what his life is until he gets it done. It's just all that he's focusing on because the pain of just losing his uh, wife and daughter was just too much. It was the only thing to keep him alive. And here you just see him just kill so many wrecks until this moment where the survivors of his killing spree he uses to create the citadel the citadel of the ricks yep and then he leaves it to be and he looks like th this is our rick this is a presumably current beth yep and he joins them because this looks like a version of Rick's family who have been abandoned, like Beth, a, a version of Beth and 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 Jerry, their family has been abandoned by a Rick, and he came back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Then the adventures begin. And, and here, an example of all the different universes within the, the central finite curve. And I think it's just really, that, that's a bit where I had to pause it and just like really watch it because it's really cool to see, you know, Rick's Rick's history. Because I think in the bird, the bird episode, the Birdman episode, we got to see the Gear Wars. We got to see um, Squanchy and that. So we're, we're, we're finding out a lot about Rick in these last few episodes. Absolutely. And just summed up into two words. Yeah, dead wife. Like that's really the backstory that got us to making Rick Rick. Yeah. Rick's Rick because he himself, a different variant of him, killed his wife in order for him to build the portal gun, it seems. And then, what we see prece uh, preceding this, because the bombshells aren't over, where Morty. Evil Morty. Mm -hmm. Not really, probably evil. Because he just wants to escape all of this control. Mm -hmm. None of them have to be responsible. They're all victims of themselves. And he's leaving. They built. Yeah. And this is what he describes, If for those who don't understand. Rick built a separate universe... That is, like, within... Uh, Such a finite curve describes a smaller subset of universes inside the larger multiverse, where in each universe, Rick is the smartest person. So it's like mini-verses within a multiverse. Mm -hmm. King of shit. <laughs> and this is, yeah. Did you really leave the crows for me? Or would you come back because they dumped you? And they definitely dumped him. And yeah, and this Morty's found a way to get away from it. And this is the backup system that we've all known and seen before. You're like, if Rick dies, oh no, no, there's a backup system. But even the backup system is destroyed. Yep. Which creates some stakes. Which is, 
which is crazy. So many Rick and Mortys would have just died. Like, look at all the blood, man. Just... Uh, but he does one last act of good here. He helps shuttle all these mutant Mortys and other Mortys to safety. Yeah. As because it's you know, hmm. so it seems like Rick's just a bit of a better person now. Well, what did it take? Five seasons of growth. And this, they've never really worked as partners, right? But this is a bit of a metaphor or, or symbol. Yeah, I think so. It's like a the start of a new Rick and Morty where yeah. there is equals. Yes. M maybe we'll see that in season six to come. I don't know. What do you think? I expect the unexpected, <laughs> but I think so. Yes. I think we're definitely getting to a stage where it looks like the creators definitely want to, this show to end at some point and they want it to end with Rick's character progressing. I don't think this is going to be like a thing where, you know, there's going to be like 30 seasons. It's going to become like a next big thing. Now I could see this show ending after like, say 10 seasons. Yeah. Which I think is a good thing. I think everything should end. I think any show that goes infinitely on is just, you just, you know, you're destined for disaster at some point. Yeah, I mean, The Simpsons, um, you could say, The Walking Dead. Yeah, it's just what it comes down to is time. If you make something that doesn't end, then that's taking up someone's time. I think time's important. I think all things should end. And so here we see Morty, evil Morty. Yep. Leaving. And he's escaped. <laughs> but this... This is interesting because all the yellow globes are exploding. Okay. Yeah. So Morty seemed to open up all these versions. I don't know if they're dying or if these universes are now free. I think I looked at, I looked at it as, a, as if they were free. Like not only did he free himself, but he also freed so many other Mortys. So right. Think, yeah. That's pretty significant so to the potential of what could come in future seasons. Exactly. So it was like, could this Morty come back with a bunch of other Mortys that have been freed to get revenge on Rick? Like, I don't know. And this is the description. Now we see why it's green portal fluid. It's not for no reason. Green means central finite curve universes. Mm -hmm. Yellow means everything else. Everything else. Yep. Really cool point. I think that's a really cool detail. Yeah. Amazing finale. Yeah, really Probably good. Not, not my favorite season, but a, a really good season overall with some really good episodes. Absolutely. And Mr. Poopy Battle. Well, Whoa, wee! Evil Morty, that was Ooh. quite... That was better. That's better. You do it, you do it. Ooh, wee! <laughs> Looks like we're back again. Keep going. Read the subtitles. You got it makes me wonder if there's an evil me out there but i guess sometimes i look at my life and i may not even need him i can't even tell if it's on point i'm just i'm just i'm just you know no i'm done all right all right, all right. All right. that's pretty good <laughs> but he, he drops a deep deep like something deep here um <laughs> uh the consequences of working rick he, he lost his job at the university things went downhill he lost his... Yeah, look at his living situation. Looks like he's living in, like, a one-room apartment where the walls are, you know, everything's broken, like, everything's dirty. Like, he's just living in, like, the cheapest way possible. And then he's married to, like, a Mrs. Poopy Butthole, it looks like, in a picture, who's also wearing a hat. <laughs> or maybe it's his mum. I don't know. No, I, I think, though, it is his wife because... Because yeah. uh, I wanted to lever... Who she, okay, but then I guess I stopped because I wanted to love who she thought I was. Not who I felt myself becoming. Ever think about how horrified the people we love would be if they found out who we truly are? Mm. So we just dig ourselves deeper into our lives every day, ultimately hurting the only people brave enough to love us. Yep. Wish I didn't do that. Wish I was brave enough to love them back. I don't know. Maybe you should try it. Just a cool thing out towards the audience. If you wrote that, like that's a deep philosophical question about identity and 
are you being your authentic self and do you are you lying to the ones you love because you want to be portrayed as a as a more ideal virtuous version of yourself like bro people would deal with this shit every day i'm pretty sure i would have dealt with things like this for stages of my life like bro like cartoons animations like rick and morty like this is what i'm talking about this is why i wanted to review this deep shit like yeah, what this. a way to what a way to end the season hey yeah with like a bombshell like this have we ever had something like so significant to the story and development uh not off the top you okay oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry mr Pippi butthole you'll find love one day one day baby will be old oh baby will be old so that's it ladies and gentlemen i think this was a great end to the season i think we had a couple great episodes 21 some good ones and some average ones But I really appreciate the writers, you know, finally addressing this. But now I'm like not sticking on it because you could easily draw this out, right? But they 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 opened it, they closed it, they they got they got so much covered in such a short amount of time in a really succinct way. And I do agree, maybe it did feel a little bit fast, but you have to re this one and then you kinda alright, got you. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Cody. It has been the first episode in a while that coverages a huge range of things. I think the last one might have been the last Evil Morty episode itself. Yes. And like Cody said again, this felt like a first major episode that uh, that changes things on a bigger scale in a while. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree. It's... There's some stakes, there's progression, there's story development, something you usually see in, in like a a movie or a actual non-animated TV show. Because hmm. like a serial TV show, like just repeats and repeats, but this, we've had some development. And so is Evil Morty really evil? I don't think he is. I think he's justified in what he's done. Because it didn't like, he didn't, obviously he killed a lot of people, but he didn't kill the Rick. Because maybe he's aware that all these all these realities and all these timelines have been specific, specifically created by Rick's. And everything else that surrounds around it isn't real, isn't important. Right, right, right. It's all it's all controlled. So I think he just finds a way to just basically get out of it and just start afresh without having to worry about it. I don't think he's. I think he might have gone through evil means, but Rick did the exact same thing. So. What do you consider evil? And I think right. sometimes, well, sometimes the the ends justify the means, as they say. Like, e Morty, evil Morty, needed to maybe be evil in order to get out and escape from the system of oppression and control. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's another deep thought. Ooh. We can go deeper, though, bro. We can. <laughs> Damn. We can get deeper. All right. You got any last thoughts? I'm done. I don't think evil Morty's evil. I think sometimes the ends justify the means, and to escape oh, tyranny, it requires I think evil action. Morty just wanted to be independent, but went the wrong way about it. Or maybe things were too corrupt to the point that there was no other way. That too. Maybe he had to do what he had to do because any other way that he did it, Rick would have put a stop to it, and he knew that could have been the only way. Um. Yeah, man. I don't have too much more to add. I didn't, I really enjoyed the episode. And we're just very happy we got to see a lot about Rick's past and a lot of his actions that have made him who he is today. It explains a lot and it helps us understand everything a lot more. And I hope we get more of that in the next season. Absolutely. Look forward to it. Probably be in two years, I'd probably say. No, they already finished uh, writing, I believe, a season six and seven. Oh, writing. Damn. Well, I guess it'll be done next year. That is the hope. Um, let me see. Season six will arrive summer 2022 which is our winter so a year did you see fantano's review of little nas x montari no do you recommend the album i haven't listened to it what was the review like but, but, oh it's a pretty good review but it's cool because basically little nas x was posting on tiktok about how he just really like he didn't really care what 
Melon rated it, but in a way where he actually really, really does care. So what Melon did is on the on the the thumbnail, it's him wearing a fucking red flannel and like crying. But then as soon as the video starts, he takes off the red flannel. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> it's like a trick. That's pretty cool so, when you yeah. when, when Fantano's that when our viewer could be that influential where they get called out by the actual artist. Yeah. I mean it was a good review. It makes me want to listen to it. I don't think I'll enjoy it, but I think I'll find a lot of it I enjoy because I enjoyed a lot of the singles. So. I look forward to it. All right. Jungle Beats, baby. We're going to get out of yeah, here. Jungle Beats. We're going out of here. Rick and Morty's we're done. have a nap. And we're going to have a fap. Yeah, it is done. Good shit, man. We got it done. Yeah. That was a fun, that was a fun season. It was the first time we reviewed a season. The first time we reviewed a TV show. So, uh, you know, let's get up out of here. You guys know what to yeah, do. And I guess... What do, I wonder what the next thing we're going to review is. I don't know. Damn. I guess we'll find out when we when we, when we know. That's right. Stay tuned. If you guys want to see more, you know what to do. You can subscribe, hit notifications. We, all links below if you want to follow us. I'm Alexander Emmanuel Sandalis. Um, uh, the Prance and Pegasus of Percival, Gloom, Stork, the thirsty hoes out there. That's who I am. I came up with some pretty cool names on our, on our intros, bro. Oh, yeah, we did. Absolutely. That's OG. That was, that was not a good thing about our intros. It's like... And I didn't even steal that from Melon. That was just a fun thing to do. No, man. That, that's pure you. Pure me. Whatever comes to my brain, I speak. Brain think, brain do. <laughs> <laughs>